And welcome here to the Elite Basketball Academy, the EBA All-American Camp. I'm Marcus Burnett, joined by Chris Watkins as we get ready to bring you some coverage here from the live camp games. Getting things started off quickly is number two. That's a Colton Kressel with a three-pointer there. We got Colton actually flew in, came all the way from Arizona, had a fantastic freshman campaign. Uh, last season actually had a season high of 20 points versus local Centennial High School there out in Arizona. Very good looking jump shot right there. Free throw off the mark, Demarcus Simons with the rebound. Simons, no stranger uh, to the EBA circuit as well as Buford, uh, with that being where he plays his high school ball at. We appreciate you joining us here for the live webcast. It's been a, a great start to the camp here uh, so far. A lot of energy from the staff on down. Uh, looking forward to us spilling over here into these camp games. Yeah, they've done a fantastic job so far today. Got some great skill work with our staff, our two trainers, Adrian Penland at Adrian Penland Basketball, as well as Christian Simmons. That's as we work hoops if you want to see any of the drills to improve your game outside of camp. 3-3 score here early on. Simons with it up top. Three-pointer on the way, count it. It's number 25 knocking down the tray ball. That's Elijah Jenkins. It's actually back-to-back -back baskets right there by number five, Jared Harper out of Pebble Rock High School. He hit the three last time down the floor. Explosive guard, has multiple Division I offers. Got Simons right there with a the drive. It's going to be a good matchup watching those two go head to head. So we see our camp director and our Peach State basketball owner, Brandon Clay, very hands on here with this one as he touches base with the aforementioned Harper, who's got the last two buckets. Nearly had a third there. Alley Oop instead, they'll just have to settle for the alley. Uh, nonetheless, that's a deuce there for DeMarcus Simon. Good, shoot it, Good. That's okay. That three-pointer off the mark. It's rebounded by number 14, Jordan Pulliam. Here's Harper. Chris, who are some of the you know the players that you're looking forward to see uh, here in competition today, just based off of you know prior to the event, but also some of what you've seen here this morning as we see another bucket there by Simons. Yeah, I mean we've got a great crop here. I've uh, been very impressed with Simons. Even I was watching the defensive stations. I mean he he came to lock down in, in the two different defensive stations he was in and actually talked to him outside and said he was really buying into that today here at camp. That's again Harper right there, you know. Highly touted out of Pepperbrook High School. Pepperbrook here locally in the state of Georgia looks to be one of the best teams in the state. Harper's got multiple offers anywhere from Ole Miss, Richmond, um, UAB, Kennesaw State, as well as many others. As well as Kyvon Davenport, you got him right there with the ball. Had a fantastic year for Coach Joe Dix out of East Hall. Actually averaged 20 points, 15 rebounds per game. So talent is stacked from top to bottom here at camp. Now, when you look at a Jared Harper, you, know, you talked about what he's been able to do uh, when playing his ball at Pebblebrook. Uh, Harper has the ball right now. Give me your synopsis of uh, why you think he's such an effective player, uh, you know, even given his size. You know, he showed big strides in his game, you know, from the spring open period to the summer open period, and both, you know, our staff, both Brandon Clay and Hemingway, um, where you evaluate him for BrandonClayScouting.com as well as on the radar hoopsupport.com and, and going over the notes and they just mentioned how much he just continually in his game improved. And, and improvement in someone with his size, he's got to be solid um, in every aspect of the game as a point guard. He definitely continues to show that. 
I think you know a couple things that stand out to me is his toughness. Uh, you know, I, I think you know anytime you look at any player uh, that may be undersized or regarded as undersized, I think toughness is always an issue. There are a lot of calls you may or may not get. Uh, a lot of times, being able to throw your weight around, so to speak, may not be an advantage that you have. So, you know, being able to be tough and be a gritty ball player is something that I think is an advantage. Uh, you know, when you look at Harper, uh, you know, he's, he doesn't make you uh, lose anything on the court, and I think that that says a lot as we see him knock down another tray ball. Uh, I'm this, you know, I'm thoroughly impressed right now. You know, this is one of those things when we were talking about matchups going into camp, and, you know, Brandon, Play our, our director was telling me about him, and I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. Cross court pass. There we see good hustle uh, being displayed there by both teams. Just going to go with with team one. Harper with it. Let's go for another tray ball. That one won't go. Haven't been able to say that much at all here this game. It's a nice take there by number 33. Zach Orr out of Banks County High School. Average a double-double right at 10 points and 10 rebounds per game last year. Looks to have a breakout season this year. Nice three-point play the hard way there. Here we see Harper getting involved with the dish. Nice dish there by Harper. Getting a trip to the free throw line here is going to be Garrett Gilkison. Like how the official played that one. If he had went ahead and made that bucket, that was going to be no foul call, but since it went in and out, you want to let them play, but you still want to have some kind of order as well. Here's Simons. Has it stolen away. Have a foul on the play. Ball back in play. Simons guarded by Harper. Easy work inside. Yeah, look for a big day out of Davenport. Uh, he actually performed very well in our EBA top 40. High energy, um, does a kind of lot in that 3-4 type position. Right on the glass. Twelve to nineteen ball game here in the first half. Nice defense there. Uh, coming back into the game, number one, Kendrick Simmons. Another Banks County representative here today. You saw that block right there by Simons, and you see he's he's buying into playing defense. If he gets to where he's a lockdown defender, he's going to be trouble at the next level. Most definitely, we've been able to see that, you know, throughout our broadcast coverage of the Georgia high school sports season, our uh, basketball season here, but, you know, I've definitely seen that here in camp as well. He's, he's really been aggressive in the drill, uh, and he's carried over to the game.
just, all, oh, just under six minutes left to play. Simons continuing to try to be aggressive. So far, they've done a, a decent job defensively. Harper going to try a deep three-pointer. Misses the first. Took a little bit of contact there on that last play. No foul call. They'll come the other way. Peach is picked up by Simons and scored. Shot knocked down there as number 12 again, Garrett Gilkerson. Yeah, he actually last night, he's starting quarterback on his uh, football team right there for Park, Parkersburg South. Threw for 17 for 21 for 269 yards and then drove all the way through the night, about 11 hours to get here today. It's not bad at all. That's number 12, uh, Gilkerson there in the gray t shirts. Definitely making the most out of this trip. He's going to get a breather. Uh, that can definitely come in handy, if, you know, given that performance on the gridiron, the drive, and then being able to come here and compete at EBA camp as well. Brandon Clay coaching on one end. You've got another Brandon, uh, Brandon Mayweather, uh, coaching for the other team. Shot off the mark there by Kressel. Here's Harper, knifing through the defense. Have a foul on the play. Won't be a very uh, very long rest for Gilkerson as he's back into the game. Jared Harper uh, going to get a breather uh, for team two. That free throw is knocked down by Kressel. Strong move there by number 34. That's Brent Duncan. Yeah, you like Brent Duncan's work on that ability to put it on the floor, um, look for him to kind of, you know, be a four at the next level, extremely athletic, high energy on both ends of the floor. You know, if he gets out here in transition by on his own, that's, there's a reason why his Twitter name's at Brent Dunks. Yeah, he's got he got to be able to have some leaping, leaping ability to have that Twitter handle, man. It, it definitely sets the bar. And based off the footage I've seen uh, up to this point, He's definitely named appropriately. I would change my Twitter handle to Marcus Dunks, but that'd be a lie, Watkins. Mine would be uh, Chris <laughs> Slaps Pad. <laughs> Calling for it, taking the three ball and knocking it down. That's Jenkins there again. That's the second three he's hit today. Really like how he's came out to play today. He's shown a lot more confidence, you know, since we saw him at EBA Top 40 last spring. Nice Good move. Gilkerson. Nice move inside. Continue to impress here with this play. Jenkins trying to get back-to-back -back threes, can't get it to go. Brent Dunks. Brent Dunks, and Brent Dunks often getting his first one here at EBA All-American count. Made it look very easy. Good take, coast to coast finish with the contact. Jordan Pulliam, the M one. He'll have a seat. Seeing this Marcus I know you're seeing the comeback right now. I'm seeing it. I'm I'm, I'm seeing it. As Brandon Clay brings uh, <laughs> brings this team comeback efforts to the forefront here on the broadcast. 
if you expect the players to compete walking, the, you know, the, the coaches have to take the game seriously as well, man. Yeah, that's why they got, that's why I'm over here on the broadcast. I'd get a little <laughs> too jacked up if I was over there on the sidelines. No, I love the enthusiasm of our staff here. They really buy in to, to why these players are here. You know, multiple players coming from all over the country. You know, some of the top players in the state, multiple Division I talent in the gym. So you want to give them everything that we can while they're here. Another bucket there, Jared Harper. You know, touched on some of the things that make him, uh, you know, the player that he is. We talked about the toughness, uh, but also, as we've seen, the ability to knock down that three ball doesn't hurt. Uh, and he's not one-dimensional to where he can only shoot the, uh, the three ball as well. As you saw that last night through the, through the lane. Final eight seconds here in the first half. Simons versus Harper. Simons going to pull it. No good on the jump shot. Gilkerson with the rebound. Very productive first half for him. We'll take a short break. When we get back, more coverage here from EBA All-American.